All right, we're going to uh, try to get through the fix it exercise. So uh, back at the book, if we go to the bottom where we have exercises, and scroll all the way to the bottom, we have fix it. So it's saying within the chapter one directory. So I have all my stuff in this Zach folder. That's the publisher's name. Um, if I go to chapter one, there's a fix it solution and we're opening the SLN file. Again, if you don't see this SLN in Windows, go to view, details, and make sure file name extensions is turned on. So then let's double click this and, uh, and open this broken project and try to fix it. All right, so security warning. Yep, that's fine. While this is opening, I'm going to take the assignment again and throw it to my other screen so I can read the assignment while working on it. So it says this is still opening um, in exercise 10, which is the fix it assignment. A is start the application. So I'm just going to look real quick in the project. We have form main form. All right. Just wanted to see what was in this project. I'm going to hit start. And it says I need to click on the show price button, which should display the label control. So here's a parrot or a picture of a parent parrot. And I click on show price and it's not working. All right, click on exit. And we need to figure out why it's not working. So I need to open the code editor and fix the code. So I'm going to click on uh, main form and hit F7 and it opens up the code editor. And fix the code contained within btn show underscore click procedure. Well, here's the btn show underscore click procedure and it's taking LBL price and setting visible to false. But this is a, this button is for us when we want to show the price, right? So instead of false, this should be true. On the application again, potential price. There you go. Um, all right. And click the exit button. Well, so we're clicking the exit button to end the application at the end of B. And in the start of C, we're supposed to open the application again. So I'm just going to leave it open. Use the exit button's access key, Alt X. So if I hold down Alt and hit X to end the application. And that's not working. I'm holding down Alt, I'm hitting X, it's not doing anything. Click the exit button, and I got to say, I'm going to be a little bit stumped here. So um, we'll see what happens here. Click the exit button to end the application. Which event procedure in the code editor window contains me.close? Well, here it is. This is the me.close. And which event should it be entered? So it's in btn exit dot mouse click. Hmm. What should it be? Well, I'm going to double click on the form. And I'm going to double click on exit. So it should be on btn exit dot click. So there's two different ways we can fix this. One is we can take the event, cut it, paste it up here, and then get rid of this empty sub procedure that's broken. Or we can take me.close and put it into btnexit.click and then get rid of this empty sub procedure. So now btnexit.click, whether that click is a mouse click, I'm going to hit save, or pulling down alt and hitting the access key should close the application. I'm going to hold down alt, hit X for exit, and my application just closed. Um, all right, save the solution, test it, and we're done. So go ahead, we're going to close this. I'm going to take the fix it solution. I'm going to take that entire folder. Let me view details. I like the detail view of things. I'm going to take fix it solution. I'm going to send to a compressed zip folder. There it is, fix it solution. 
I'm going to make sure I did everything in here. We can click on view rubric. Did we do this? Did we do this? Yep, we did that. I can take this zip file and you know what? I'm going to do it the other way this time. I'm going to hit browse local files. I'm going to find that file, that zip file. Where is that zip file? Here it is, fixitsolution.zip. And then go and hit submit. And that is the entire fix it assignment. 